game. And I might add the MCG ground, of course it took a torrid beating with the State of Origin game last week and still hadn't recovered, but it wasn't in too bad a nick. There was only a small but very enthusiastic crowd on hand to see this game. Let's go to the action now, early in the first quarter, with the Roos up by a point. Boundary throw in. Low. Knocked away though. Off the ground by Larkin. Coming out in front, Frawley. Now McCarthy, awkward hand pass, brilliantly picked up by Larkin, who goes with the left foot. What a way to start his century of games. There's great skills, Matthew Larkin, playing his 100th game for North Melbourne. And uh, he's also been North Melbourne's best and fairest winner on three occasions, so he's been a tremendous player for North Melbourne. There is a very clever shot at goal on the left foot. Recruited from Baronia, only 24 years of age and has been a great player since he was recruited to North Melbourne. Stuart Lowe doing the ruck work tonight for St Kilda. Up he goes and wins as well. Whistle's gone, free kick was going St Kilda's way, advantage paid. Sheldon out of the middle but it's actually going to come back to Stuart Lowe, so advantage not paid and Lowe will get the free kick. Paul Harding picked as number one ruckman tonight for St Kilda but Lowe has started the opening couple of centre bounces. Normally a centre half forward. Firm ground in the centre. Long kick to Lockett. Big pack surrounds him. Comes to the front. Chance here. Hooked towards goal by Owen, but just offline. And a behind to St Kilda. Yes, Rod Owen was filling in at full forward with Lockett out suspended. But he is lined up at centre half forward, giving Stuart Lowe a run in the ruck, which is not a bad idea because it gets him into the play very early. Longmire to kick it in. Six points the margin, North's way. Big pack in from the side low. Is it paid? No, play on is the call. Smith the hurried kick towards the outer side, half-back flank. Schwass leads in the race, but the boundary line is too near. Yeah, looked like a Mark Dennis. Uh, a little bit unfortunate there, Stuart Lowe. Got a great pair of hands and really goes for him too. Throw an outer side, Hepburn, opposed to Harding. Hepburn wins it down. Off the ground he goes again. Battle after the ball close to the boundary line. Uh, Siri didn't do love any favours. A hand pass at close quarters and we've got a boundary throw in. North one goal one. St Kilda one behind. Harding and Hepburn. Comes to Gotch. Centering kick. Looks North Melbourne's ball. Or Dwyer drops it. Thump forward for St Kilda. Smith out of defence for North. Comes towards the broadcast wing. Open spaces here. Ken Sheldon, the veteran, leads the race. But his hand pass is blocked by Arsiri. Barker's there. And into his back. And that's a free kick. Against Arsiri. Trevor Barker. A little bit of experience here, Trevor Barker, because he picked up the ball and put it down in front of him and waiting for the uh, push in the back. Barker, a shocking lacerated mouth about a month ago. Missed a couple of games. Martin gets the hand pass out. Running onto it, Ramiro. Didn't pick up. Rice gets the hand pass wide. David Dwyer for North. That's a muddy patch there. That'll need some dry cleaning. The umpire will throw it in the air. Just over 20 minutes remaining in this first quarter. North Melbourne by six points. Must win game for both these teams. Lowe wins it down. In the back to Ramiro. He'll take the free kick. As Drew said at the outset, generally, this ground in good condition as Ramiro kicks it high towards the middle. Missed by Love in front. Tidying up behind is Grant. Schwass. Well, as he legged, almost. Gets the hand pass away. Bode comes away. Interesting tackle by Burke. Bode inside 50, out in front, Longmire. He wins the one-out contest that time, leading up in front of that man, the champ Tony Lockett. We'd have fond memories of this ground as recently as last weekend. Kick to the other side, Bode does well, shrugs the first tackle, not the second. Ball jarred free, this is Winmar in traffic, emerges with the ball, boots it across field and going back with courage is Sheldon. Ken Sheldon straight up the ground, Lockett! Well, Longmire did well again and thumps out of bounds to the forward pocket. Yes, he's doing very well, Longmire, mainly because he's playing in front of Tony Lockett and leading him to the ball. Lockett has been caught behind. 
on uh, a couple of occasions that it has been brought down into the St Kilda forward line. Chance for St Kilda. Harding in ruck. Good climb. Knocks to the back. Bowie. Back to Grant. Still only 35 metres from goal, but Grant caught on the tackle. The umpire said the ball was held in and is going to throw it up. It's about 35 metres out from the Saints attacking goal. One down by Hepburn. Dwyer's over the ball. Bowie pushed in the back. Yes, he was by Hepburn. And Bowie will get this free. He'll kick from the 50 metre line. Just over 18 minutes remaining in the first quarter. It's a cold night. Just over 10 degrees. Here's Bowie. Long kick. Has it got the carry? No. It goes out of bounds on the bounce in the left full forward pocket. Brett Bowie. The faithful are here tonight. You have to love your footy. Low. Bowie. Back towards low. In trouble. Bowie once more to Sheldon. They've moved at about three metres. Dwyer gets the hand pass away and Law runs it across the boundary line. North Melbourne's defence, one of their strengths. And usually if North get beaten, it's not by a lot. Although they were easily beaten by Collingwood in their last game two weeks ago. John Law kicks smothered. And once again, the umpire will throw it in the air. North Melbourne's percentage is 101.2 from a record of 7 and 6. Law, out of defence. To half-back flank, Buckley works to the front. Dwyer's been prominent early but can't grab this one. Windmark, clever, spins out of trouble. Daniels had to give it away in a hurry and Hepburn clears for North. Trapped there by Carey but lost it to Grant. Fode. Caught in a good tackle, Fode. No whistle on that. Comes back to Fode. Feeds out the hand pass to Mick Dwyer. Inside 50, St Kilda. But once again, North out of trouble. And a hurried kick there by German. But St Kilda have got it again. It comes back to Fode. Low kick to full forward. Martin gets in front and marks on his chest. Gets the hand pass away quickly and North take it towards the outer side. Schwash is in front out there. He's paid the free. Gives it to Steele. Around the outer side wing, German couldn't control it. Waiting behind is Grant. Pumps it back into the forward line. Big pack at the fall of the ball. Hepburn in from the side, fisting away. This is Dwyer right on the boundary line. He pulls it back. This could be the impossible goal. He's kicked it. <laughs> Only two goals so far with 14 and a half minutes remaining, but both of them gems. In particular, Mick Dwyer's. Hepburn, taken by Rice. Russo diving in there. With him is Love. And there'll be a ball up. One goal, one apiece. And we have just over 14 minutes left in the first quarter. John Northey, the Melbourne coach, having a look at opposition that he might meet later in the season. And it's a big thump out of there by Hepburn. Mick Dwyer's there for St Kilda, behind half-back, and he kicked the Saints' last goal. And he's kicked very wide, and the ball goes out of bounds. In fact, Melbourne are playing North Melbourne next week, and that's why John Northey particularly interested tonight. Harding against Hepburn. Now, Siri up and down in the air, crunch to the ground, and will take a free kick. North Melbourne's strength, they're little men, when you've got Hepburn doing a lot of their ruck work, and under lights, they seem to lift by a few goals, North. The kick wide. And here's the man who starred last week at North Hobart, McCarthy. Pumps it to centre-half to full forward. Bryce at the back, couldn't take the mark. Comes off hands to Carey, who snaps but misses. And that's the margin, North's way. Elphinston. Saving the outer side. High kick. Over the top, German fisting away off the ground by Schwass. And it's out of bounds and will be thrown in out there. I said earlier, a must-win game for these two sides. Tipster's nightmare, really. 
Neither of them have shown much form recently. North have lost their last two. St Kilda their last three. Harding decisively down to Bowie. Gets the hand pass away. This is Rice from right half back. High kick towards centre wing. Fairly going back with the flight of the ball. Appear to be pushed. No free kick. Winmar goes in with great courage. Gets the hand pass away. Sheldon to no one. Taken by Dwyer. This is Law in trouble. Well played by Daniels. Now Winmar on the outer side wing, thanks to Jason Daniels. He drives it long. Lockett takes the mark. No, it wasn't paid. Lockett, 40 metres from goal with his left foot. It's close. It's a goal. He's back in business. Yeah, Tony Lockett, he's been badly missed by this in Kilda side. And showed great skills there on the left foot. Plenty of manoeuvrability for a big man. Let's have a look at that again. He was uh, against McMartin. A little bit of a nudge out. The umpire called play on. He was well shepherded, swung onto the, that left boot and kicked that from a good 45 metres out. So Tony Lockett making his present felt, presence felt already. Well, it took Tony Lockett 15 minutes to get a touch. But what a great goal it was. Mick Dwyer out of the middle, wide to Lockett. Longmire in front. What a gather by Lockett. Can't shrug the tackle, gets it back to Sheldon. In fact, Lockett has been pinged for holding the ball. Longmire is winning on points, even though Lockett has one goal. Well, while he served his four-week suspensions and Kilda won just one out of the four, but Lockett didn't lose his lead at the head of the goal kickers. Lockett in the action again, but can't mark. Comes to Dwyer, back towards the centre. Off hands to Fode, the youngster. Teal Cupper last year. Keeps it low. Great pass. Good mark. Owen. 45 metres out. Yes, that was a great mark by Rod Owen. Under a heap of pressure there from uh, Michael Martin. Kept his eyes on the ball. And running at top pace was able to juggle that one. St Kilda leading by five points. Just under 11 minutes remaining to quarter time. Rod Owen going the pass rather than the goal. And Winmar cops it on the chest. He's kicked 99 goals for St Kilda, Nicky Winmar drew. Interesting, Owen took that about 45 metres out. And now for Winmar, the man on the mark is about 35 out. So not a great deal of gain. And he'll have to wait for a while for his 100th as that slews off the side of the boot for a behind. Alan Davis and Daryl Baldock. Not what the doctor ordered. That kick. Longmire. Members side. Intended for Law. At full stretch, he takes it. Law, right half back. Hugs the boundary line with the kick. Bryce, good mark. Paul Bryce. Gets it across to Larkin. Larkin with a kick towards half forward. The better judgment shown by Barker. Trevor Barker, the veteran, from half back. Back towards the centre circle. Lowe's in front. Fairly comes over the top. It falls to Gotch. Inside 50. Steele with dash comes away for North. Sends it towards the outer side. We've got a foot race now. Dwyer in front. Socket away by Romero. Afterwards, left half forward where it stops. Picked up by Barker. Pulls it back across his body, waiting for it to come down. Burke, he's taken the mark on centre wing. Nathan Burke, short of half forward with his kick. Low is there, hooks to the back, well played. Gotch, threads out the hand pass, which is good. Well, bad bounce, comes to low now, hurriedly off the left boot. Russo with the long sleeves. Steele met it off his shins. And he helped out Bryce. Larkin to German, through the centre, North Melbourne. Straight up the middle. Chance here for the high-leaping McCarthy. Oh, but Crawley beat him to it. Always in front position. And Danny Frawley breaks away and beats the tackle. Back to centre wing for St Kilda. Two on one. Clever tap. Daniels had it spent before he got it. Flips it out the back. Gotch off the ground to half forward. Winmar. Oh, clever play by Nicky Winmar. He left Buckley a mile behind. High. Chance for Lockett. Oh, whipped away beautifully by Law. Back to the member's wing. Daniels was up. Buckley's got it on the ground. 
and we'll have a ball up. Interesting the way Lockett got rid of Longmire that time as the high ball was coming in. Could have been a push. Yeah, really? it looked like a push to me, Dennis. He would have been lucky if he had got away with that. It would have been unfortunate for North. I think the free kick should have been paid. Here's Wenmar on the burst. Gets the kick away. We'll watch it again. There's the arm again. He's taken the mark. Now, that wasn't as blatant as the previous one. But watch the forearm when we come to the replay. It certainly fends off Longmire. Yeah, there's a nudge again with that left arm. And just enough to put Longmire out of the contest. So Lockett will kick from about 15 metres out on a very slight angle. A chance to bring up his second and stretch the lead for the Saints. He's got it. Grant went on to score a late goal for St Kilda in that first term to give the Saints a 16-point break at quarter time. 4-2, 26 to North Melbourne who had their chances. One goal, 4-10. So it was still a pretty tight game and it was destined to get even tighter in the second quarter. We pick up the second quarter action now. Some 15 minutes remaining. St Kilda lead by two goals as we go back to Drew Morfitt, Dennis Cometti and Bernie Quinlan. Martin from halfback in the direction of Kickett. Oh, Grant! What a mark! Didn't play for Tasmania last Sunday. Could have missed the game because of injury. Mick Dwyer scoops out of the mud but went without it. Comes to Steele. Steele over the wing. Chance here for North. David Dwyer after it. Good tussle out there on the wing. Comes back to kick it. About his second touch since he came on at quarter time. McCarthy loses it but gets one in the back and gets the free kick. And that should be 50 metres. Ridiculous play there by Fode. Just threw the ball up in the air. And now McCarthy, who is a very good kick, should have a good chance to put this one through. Well, they'd only be kicking from about 30 metres out. Should get the distance. There you see it. Not very far at all. John McCarthy. One of the success stories this season at North. He's played well at both ends of the ground. This is a vital kick. It's good. It's hard to understand, Dennis, why a player, who when he knows that the 50-metre penalty will be applied, just gets the ball and throws it up in the air because he knows the umpire is right there and he will be pinged immediately. McCarthy was brought in and only had that shot from 25 to 30 metres out, but just ridiculous play by Fode. He lets himself down sometimes with, with uh, just foolish little infringements like that. Disappointing. 17-year-old has had nine possessions and has played well. McCarthy's first goal. Just over 14 minutes remaining in the second quarter. North coming back into it now. Seesawing affair. And the standard exceptional. There's McRae out of the middle towards half forward. Good use of the body there by Romero. Rice misses him. Romero gets the kick away in front. Rice. A brilliant football by Romero. Yes, he was gone. And somehow managed to get away. You would think in that situation, no way, Jose. But he got the kick. Found a full forward and Bryce a chance to get this goal. He's got it. North storming back. Yes, North starting to look a lot better in this quarter. And uh, St Kilda, even though they have a very strong forward line, they have swapped and uh, switched their back line around. Alphonston playing on Bryce. Uh, was named at centre-half back. Barker playing there, not a true centre-half back. A little bit short for centre-half back. There's a mark to Bryce. Well out in front of Alphonston. And uh, Bryce, who hadn't been on, the, on target up until then, he'd kicked two behinds, finally kicks one through the middle. In this quarter, North Melbourne three goals one, St Kilda just three behinds. North have come right back to trail by a point. The umpire's going to grab this, and he can ball it up there. It's quite firm in the middle. McCarthy is playing now at centre-half forward, and Carey playing at full forward for North Melbourne. Not the greatest bounce I've ever seen. Tapped out by Harding to Gotch, kick smothered. Back to Harding, who has to beat about three of them. Ball held to him. Umpire will ball it up again. 
29 to 20, uh, scores level, 29 each. And Tony Lockett, apart from flashing into the play just a couple of times in the first quarter for two marks and two goals, has been a spectator, really. Bryce, away to our Siri, to half forward. McCarthy leapt early, but couldn't take the mark against Barker. Elphinstone caught by McCarthy. And Barker in trouble. And St Kilda have lost it. So North pressure on the forward line keeps it there, 55 metres from goal. Very gritty combination in North Melbourne. There's Tony Lockett, stranded at the present time as the action's down the other end. North just keep on coming. Hepburn got rid of Harding, according to the umpire, unfairly. Very soft free kick, that one. Wasn't it? It's always a mystery, ruck infringements. Harding, the short pass, taken by Grant, who runs on. Kicks through centre wing. Over the top, Martin should have fisted away. Put his body in, though, and won the free kick. One of the most improved players in the league, this man, Michael Martin, from half-back. High kick towards half-forward for North. Clears everybody down there. Larkin, haven't seen a lot of him, gets the hand pass away to German. To Ramiro. Some more Ramiro magic upcoming. No, the kick's a shocker. Touch, though. It's out of bounds in the left full forward pocket. Well, what a disappointment that was for Ramiro, who did so well to set up the previous goal for Bryce. And running into an open goal that 25 metres out, should have nailed it. Still a chance for North. German applies the tackle. Ball's gone through for a behind. Ball pierces the goal umpire, so North have hit the front after trailing by 16 points at quarter time. Three goals to nothing this quarter. Elphinston kicks 55 metres. That's all. Well, Frawley, well up the ground. Out to Daniels, back to Frawley. The full back, forward of centre. Long to full forward. Lockett nudging again, but gets underneath it. Law goes for the boundary line. Mightn't have found it. And the ball does beat Owen out of play. He appears to seem to have uh, lost the ability, ability to lead tonight, Tony Lockett. Again, caught behind. A much better player when he leads a fullback to the ball. And those pocket players aren't helping. They're dragging men to the contest. So, generally, North coming over the top and from behind. There's Winmar. Misses it. Coming through strongly was Harding. Daniels put his body in. Dwyer. Harris by Daniels. Harding does well. The big fellow storms away. Long kick down towards full forward. Lock at the push-off. And he's taken the mark and the mark will stand. Well, this is a characteristic of the game tonight. And I think it will be discussed in the wake of this game. Strong mark. Let's have a look at that again, Dennis. I'm sure that was a push out well before the ball arrived there. And I think uh, maybe that should have been a free kick to North Melbourne. It's borderline stuff, isn't it? North fans not happy. Lockett, a chance to kick his third goal. Let's see what the champ can do. Shouldn't have much trouble from here. He's got firm footing, and he's got six points. So after Lockett's mark, controversially, and goal, St Kilda rest the lead back from North Melbourne. Harding wins in the middle to Russo, who has to soccer off the ground, puts it wide. Owen first there, nudged into it by uh, Martin, pushing the back. Owen takes the free kick, wants to go quickly. Out to the pocket, unmarked is Bowie. Oh, he had a sitter, had it spent and dropped it, but still might go. Kicks it behind. His second behind for the night. I was talking about North before, being a gritty team, but both these sides really give their supporters and football supporters in general value for money. It's not a particularly good kick in. Longmire has given the ball to St Kilda. This is Corkamilis. Longmire's kicking in has not been a feature tonight. Centering kick. Lockett surrounded. Fisted away by Longmire, but roving the pack is Bowie. And Bowie gets a goal. So the Saints are coming back. Yeah, it's great roving there by Bowie. 
He read it perfectly. A punch away from Lockett. Caught in between two North Melbourne defenders. And of course, they're going to go the punch away if Tony Lockett is in the contest. And Bowie read it beautifully off the pack. Made up for the one he missed a moment ago. But uh, St Kilda coming back. It's been a fiercely contested battle out there. Both sides uh, very committed. They know this is their last chance to make the five. So far, North Melbourne have won the first half of each quarter and St Kilda the second half of each quarter. Saints have kicked the last two goals. Burke can't get a clean possession out of the middle. Larkin tries to wrest the ball free. The umpire's going to ball it up again. So it's a two-goal lead now to St Kilda. And it looks as though it'd be pretty hard to be dumped there in the middle. That cricket pitch area has been covered. It's pretty firm. Bowie gets the hand pass away. Winmar taps up the ground. Martin crashes through. Goes back for another serve. McRae. Built like Tarzan, Dean McRae. Slung to the ground. Pretty tough out there in that jungle. But North Melbourne finish up with a free kick to Buckley. Buckley swings it out wide to accommodate this man, Matthew Larkin, who plays on immediately, gets the hand pass away. Quas, haven't seen a lot of him. Beautiful kick, though. He spears it into Carey. Carey is marked just inside the 50-metre line. He'll take a good kick from here. He plays on. He centres the ball. It was a bad kick. And Rice, the defensive mark. Back to the members' side with a kick. Not a good one either. All North Melbourne around the ball. He found three of them. Schwass gets the hand pass away. This is McRae. Pumps it back into the forward line. McCarthy in from the side. Knocked away by Rice. And again. Recovers his own spoil. Well, almost. He carries it across the boundary line. I venture to say that even though it's a North Melbourne home game, there'd be more St Kilda supporters here tonight than North supporters. And, of course, they can't wait to see Tony Lockett back in the red, white and black. Burke out of defence, almost a one-hander to McRae. Needs a shepherd and gets it from Hepburn. Thumps it long. McCarthy goes to the back. Price is there. McCarthy's got it and goals. <laughs> A fighting second quarter by the Roos. They kicked four goals, three to outscore St Kilda, who are off target. Two goals, five and a half time North led. Five North trail by only a goal, five seven to six seven. And I'm sure you'll agree that a feature of this game so far in the first half has been the fierce tackling by both sides. It's been a credit to watch and a credit to both sides. Well, let's go to the action now in the third quarter and see if one of these sides can break away, as is often the case in the third quarter of a match. We'll pick up, play, early in the third term. Frawley, who's played a long way out from goal and has done pretty well. Diving mark taken by Schwoss. Only quiet night for him. Different position for Bryce. He's back near centre wing. Up towards full forward. Barker comes over the back. Chance here for Love. Tries to break one or two tackles. Blind hand pass. Romero, a beauty. Out to Arsiri. A goal... Yes! Uh, North Melbourne away to a good start in this second half. They uh, forced the ball up into that forward line. Won the ball out of the centre. Finishing off with our Siri, who's been a dangerous player on the forward line. There's Love. Finally gets a hand pass away. Romero, Romero to uh, Siri. And uh, kicks the very easy goal in the end. But uh, North Melbourne shows the advantage of getting the ball out of that centre of the ground. Mark Arsiri, two goals, 11 possessions so far. Hepburn and Harding will go at it once more. Scores a level at the MCG. One by Hepburn. McRae, who was a very valuable player in the second term, got the hand pass away. Burke in deep trouble. It's Bills to Gotch. A hurried kick goes straight up in the air. They come at it from all directions. Emerging with the ball is Bryce. Concedes a couple of metres with that kick. Low fisting it forward. Knocked away by Law. McRae again. He had about six or seven kicks in the second term. This one he kicks directly to Rice. Rice to Russo. Russo on centre wing. Goes long down towards half forward. Low the better judgment. Corkamilis. Opportunity for Owen. Owen pulls it back across his body. There's the answering goal. 
Very quick reply there by St Kilda. And again, forced up the ground. Uh, very heavy conditions. Not a night for pretty football, but they're uh, both very committed sides. The replay, Corker Meal is feeding it out to Rod Owen. And Rod Owen, who hasn't played badly tonight, although that's his first goal. Kicked four goals in his last match against Melbourne, playing at full forward. Very talented player. Well, that was a good reply by St Kilda, but they've let North jump them in every quarter. North have scored the first goal in each quarter. St Kilda lead by a goal again. Harding crashes through the pack and wins a good tap. Well, here's McRae again. Barrels the ball to inside half forward. Over the top, Grant. Well, playing a fine game in defence. Has been a forward many times. Barker's hand pass to Elphinston. He loses it in the tackle. Chance for North just outside 50. But not a great kick by Carey. St Kilda whip it out of defence. Comes back to Elphinston. Through half back. Up the centre. Low. Well, he gets in that position. He just does not drop them. Perhaps the best mark in the league. Low. Woods right half forward. Waiting behind Owen. It's going to be a free kick. It's going North's way from the marking contest. And will be taken by Bryce or is it Martin? Martin's got it. Up towards left half back. And a pretty good job on Owen so far tonight. Long kick towards centre wing. Big pack into the air. McCarthy spoiling from behind. It comes down to Harding. Gives it away. Schwoss has got it now. Raking hand pass. Brilliantly picked up by Romero. Down towards the pocket he goes. And the mark is taken by Carey. Carey wants to play on. Now he's told he's played on. As a result, the kick's a shocker. An indecision robs North there. Daniels gets it away to Russo. And now it's with Gotch. Gotch out of the back pocket. Gives it straight away to the opposition. And Dwyer takes the mark. Dwyer Siri. Back to David Dwyer. Whips out the left-hand hand pass. Wide towards the boundary line. Trouble for German. And the umpire's going to ball it up. 49 plays 43. Melbourne Brains Trust looks on. Ball up nearly goes out of bounds. Harding helps it out. And Romero has been in a couple of forward thrusts so far for North in this quarter. And the youngster doing well. I suppose the conditions suit close to the ground. Rice. Daniels. High to centre wing, two against two. Winmar made it no contest. Great mark, Winmar. Elphinston sold into trouble. Gets out of it well. Not a particularly good kick. Down towards half forward. This is Owen, left it behind. His shadow is there. That's Martin pushing it towards the boundary line. Barely a try, that one. Boundary throw in, centre wing. The Saints by six points. Double fisted away by Hepburn. Bryce knocked away by Elphinston. Winmar, there's the time remaining. Dwyer knocks it on. He's been quiet tonight. Martin with dash. Dragged down by Corkamilis. Over the ball is Law. Manages to scramble a kick forward. Romero gets it to Dwyer. Here's that man again, McRae. Not wide to accommodate Squash. He's still inside the centre square but runs towards half forward. Telling kick. Down towards full forward. Knocked away by Fode. Off the ground, Arsiri. Scrambled across the line by Fode. Minor score. Quick transference by North. They do that very well, North, don't they? Bring it down the centre of the ground. And they run in streams. Almost a perfect training drill. A dangerous kick by Barker to Harding. Made it hard for him. It's picked up by Hepburn. Slides away the hand pass to Love. He's got to beat a man. Does and go 